Good morning, my people. And this is Tuko Farms. And it's on my channel where you learn how to breed black soldier fly from eggs to maturity. And it's also on my channel where you learn how to breed them perfectly. And if you are yet subscribed to my channel, please do well by clicking on the subscription button and also on the notification bell in order to notify you whenever I upload new videos. Good morning. Now, the purpose of making this video is just to show us how I introduce new pupa inside a love cage. How to introduce new pupa inside the love cage. And as you can see, this is the type of bowl that I use, you know, to hibernate the pupa in order for them to turn to pupa. And today is day six of putting them inside this small container. Now, let us see. And as you can see, these are pupa. And some flies are already coming out, which signifies that you should put them inside the love cage. Now, I will be showing you how I will be introducing them into my love cage, how I prepare my attractant, how I put them inside the container, and how they behave. So, let's go. The reason of putting these things is that just in case, if they turn to flies, they won't be able to fly out. So, as you can see, they are still inside the container flying about. But before you put them inside your love cage, you must have prepared your attractant. Yes, you must have prepared your attractant. And over here is my attractant. I have prepared it four days ago. Yes, four days ago. It's the combination of corn shafts, drained waste food water and little bit of chicken droppings. That is it. Little bit of chicken droppings. It's good not a sweet smell, not a foul odor. Yes. So, this is my attractant container. This is my attractant container. And I'll be putting them, putting the attractant inside. I'll be putting the attractant inside. So, as you can see, I've prepared five containers of attractants. One, two, three, see, is it five containers of attractants? That's one, two, three, four, and five. So, now, let me show you how I'm going to cover it. This is a very small net. I put it over this container. Then I cover it with the cover. So you can see, so that any other flies, even the black soldier fly, won't be able to have access to the attractant because if you get inside the attractant, they will drown and you stick to them and they will die. So I'm going to use this rubber band to hold it. Tightly. That's it. So I'm going to do this to all the other four. As you can see, I've done everything like that. The attractant is saved from any other flies, any other nuisance flies. You see, they won't have assets to the attractant. Now, after that, this is our head trap. We put it on the attractant so that when the smell is coming out, the female flies will be attracted to lay their eggs inside our head traps. So, now, let us go inside the love cage and put in new pupa. Okay. Let's go.
as you can see. This is my love room, five for one love room. If you look closely, you see the flies. You know, mating. I have lots and lots of them pairing up, mating. And what makes them to mate is this artificial light. As you can see, is the artificial light. Look at them. You have lots of them mating. You have lots of them. Look at them. You have lots of them. You have lots of them. You have lots of them. So, back to what we are doing. This is my love cage. The whole room is also my love cage. As you can see, look at them. They are laying eggs. I don't know if you can see properly. See them laying eggs. See them laying eggs. So, this is the one I will be using now. This one I will be using. I have other one, but I'm not using this one today. I'm using this one tomorrow. I'm using this one now. So I just want to show you how I introduce my pooper inside the love cage. This is my love cage. And these are the these are the pooper. These are the pooper. So I'm releasing the one that turned to flies. I'll be releasing them into inside this um, whole room. Yes, they have nowhere to go. They can fly around, meet and lay their eggs. This is just one kg, one kg of pupa. And this is how I introduce them inside the log cage. This is my, that's my pupa bin. Yes, I'm putting them inside this container. Yes, you'll be wondering that why did I cover the pooper bin? Yes, because whenever I spray my water, I don't want water to touch my pooper. That is the reason why for covering it and I don't want too much light to shine on them. That's why I cover it. Now, these are my attractants. I'll be putting them inside the cage. That's my trap part. And these are my egg traps. This, uh, this uh, love cage has four doors. It has four doors. There's a door here. There's a door here. And I also have another door here. And also here. So I can open it in four places. My hand can reach everywhere. So I think now, if the flies started coming out in three days' time, they are going to meet.
that is it. Then, in another three days' time, they will lay their eggs and they can die in time from that because they have already finished their job. So, and if you are yet subscribed to my channel, please do well by clicking on the subscription button and also on the notification bell in order to notify you whenever I upload new videos. This is Suko Farms. Thank you. Stay blessed and God bless you.